Hello viewers and welcome to another edition of our series, One Day of Poker. It's August 20th and poker's greatest star walks into Crockford's Casino in London. Phil Ivey has arrived and is accompanied by a Chinese female companion. Arrangements have been made for a million pounds to be wired to the casino in anticipation of his session. The game will be a form of baccarat called Punto Banco, played against the house. Over the two nights in question, things will not go entirely to plan for the casino. During the session, Crockford's grants all of Ivy's requests, including having a Chinese-speaking dealer willing to rotate cards when requested, while keeping the same deck of cards in play. They are hoping to satisfy the whims of a player known for enjoying gambling outside of the poker table. Unfortunately for the casino, Ivy and his mysterious companion win a total of $12.1 million. When they decide to pocket their winnings, Crockford's casino refuses to pay them and accuses the pair of cheating. The profile of Ivy's partner is at the centre of the claim. Cheng Yin Sun is known for her abilities to execute a technique used in casinos called edge sorting. She has been banned from several establishments for her ability to exploit subtle design flaws in playing cards. During the production process, cards in a deck will not always be created with identical backs. Slight differences can be seen at the edges of cards cut from certain parts of the patterned material. Experienced players can then learn the value of certain cards by looking at the back of them, provided that the dealers agree to turn those cards 180 degrees before placing them back into the deck. This then sorts certain cards based on the pattern imperfections at their edges. Ivy doesn't deny using this technique, he even claims that when perfectly executed it can create a 5.7% edge over the house. Ivy sees the casinos as his opponents and claims that it's his job to exploit their weaknesses. Crockford's is not the only casino beaten by Ivy, as he also takes $9.6 million from Borgata Casino, in addition to the $12.1 million he wins in London. The casinos maintain that Ivy and his partner cheated, and Crockford's has not paid his winnings. I wouldn't do anything close to cheating. I mean, my reputation is everything, and gambling, to risk my reputation over uh, winning some money. I would not do that. The UK High Court eventually heard the case and ruled in favour of the casino, but Ivy subsequently launched a bid to appeal the decision, which was granted. One important factor in this case is that Cheng Yin Sun is known to many casinos, and the technique of edge sorting is also well known to them. This would suggest that the casinos may have knowingly allowed Ivy and his partner to play. If the pair had lost, the casino would collect their money, but if they won big, the casino could refuse to pay out, taking them to court instead. The moral of the story is, if you're looking to beat a casino, make sure that you have a good lawyer on your side. Better call Saul. Thanks for listening everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment to like, share and subscribe.